my chocolate hazelnut banana bread. So I've got my bananas, they're nice and ripe, and I have used three bananas. We're gonna add to the bananas half a cup of melted and cooled coconut oil. You could use vegetable oil if you wanted to. And after the coconut oil, half a cup of Greek yogurt. I really like the tang that Greek yogurt gives it. Mix that together. And we're also gonna add two eggs. Let's crack these babies. One and two. So we're just gonna break up the eggs right in there. Perfect. I need a little bit of salt. Just use about a half a teaspoon and one cup of coconut sugar. I like this sort of molasses-y sort of flavor that coconut sugar gives it. And one cup of coconut sugar. Just kind of mix all of the coconut sugar in. The other secret to banana bread is to not overmix it. Because once you overmix a banana bread, it becomes dense. But you still want it to be nice and light. Okay, that's it. Vanilla extract. And two teaspoons of baking soda. So it helps it to rise and keeps it nice and tender. And then we've got our flour. We need one and a half cups of regular all-purpose flour. One and a half. Okay, so then fold it in. And folding just means you sort of just like lift and mix like this, instead of taking a whisk and moving really quickly. And you just kind of want to mix until you don't see a lot of the flour anymore. Right, Bruno? Right, buddy? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Flour is incorporated. So now, let's do the step that I forgot. And that is, grab a loaf pan. I'm just gonna spray it. Just some nonstick cooking spray. Hey, Jade! If you wanna come help me with the um, chocolate inside, this is a good time. I think she heard me. We're also gonna add a half a cup of chocolate chips. And I like to use the bittersweet so it's not too sugary and too sweet. Pour half the batter into my dish. Now, let's see if I can do it so you guys can see it. There we go, like that. You see that, Shane? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna pour half the batter in and we're gonna hold the other half the batter to top it after we add the chocolate hazelnut spread. So more chocolate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half of the chocolate hazelnut spread and just dollop it right over the batter. Yum. I know. Shane, did you see that dollop inside? Let me get a look at that. Now, Jade, take the knife mm -hmm. and you're gonna swirl it. Uh it's just sort of a way to be a little creative and to do something really fun. Yeah, there you go. So then when you slice it, it's almost like you can see the marbleization of the um, chocolate. Although we did also add chocolate chips, so, you know, between the two, it'll be quite chocolatey. I'm gonna pour the rest of the batter on top because yes. you want two layers. And then I'm gonna show you, we can do it on the top, okay? Jade likes to eat spoonfuls of this. Not the dough, the chocolate hazelnut spread, right? Yeah, it's I like could your, eat a jar of it. I don't know. I used to do that as a kid too. But I I would do it on bread or something. Yeah. You like it straight. I, I like it on um, pancakes. Take the rest of it, dollop it, and then we're gonna use the knife. That's a funny word. Dollop. Shane, you gotta come see this. It's like a little painting. You it's know? like on top of a, a latte or something. Yeah, exactly. It's like coffee art, but on banana bread. How is that? Good? <laughs> That's the only reason you wanna help, isn't it? Makes no. sense. All right, we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and five minutes. Here we go. Bye bye, banana bread. That's the banana bread. Look at that. Yeah, go ahead and test it. I'll hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull it out. Yes, clean. Ooh. See that? Okay.